Well, Stephen, again, I know we've been talking yesterday. It's, it's rough out there. Uh, you know, uh, summer heats, we, we just have to start getting used to it this time of year because it's, it's not going it's anywhere. Back. Uh, you know, I mean, you will get breaks here and there, but not anytime soon. So heat safety, continue to consider these things. Of course, as you know, you know, we we eventually get to a point where this is just commonplace, right? So I know that these are all obvious things, but make sure you are drinking a lot of water, taking a lot of breaks. Loose fitting, light colored clothing is a big help. It's a big, big help if you're going to be outside. And of course, outside of those outdoor activities, if you're just trying to get about your day, uh, make sure uh, as you're running errands, don't leave your kids and pets in the car. Way, way, way too hot for that. And check on your friends and family that may not have access to air conditioning. For folks that may not have air, uh, access to AC, Tulsa County does now have uh, three cooling stations open. The Salvation Army Center of Hope, John 316 Mission, those are 24-7. And then Tulsa County Social Services, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So there are some cooling stations available now here in Tulsa as the heat settles in. And unfortunately, it sticks around for quite a while. As we look towards Gathering Place this morning, Arkansas River and Riverside Drive there uh, in the uh, foreground. We are still 80 degrees. We've barely dropped below 80 overnight early this morning here in Tulsa. That's never a great sign if we can't get below 80. South wind, dew points in the mid-70s. Humidity values, that muggy meter factor, it is going to be rough for the next several days, especially today. If there's any good news, and again, it's not going to be in a big relief, but after today, the humidity values do drop off ever so slightly as we head into the work week, but notice not much. It's still going to be, uh, frankly, somewhat miserably humid, uh, humid, muggy for the next several days. Partially, as we've been mentioning, because of all the rain we've had, that's still keeping a lot of moisture near the surface. Highs this afternoon, mid to upper 90s. There'll be some passing clouds, but generally mostly sunny. You get out towards the I-35 corridor, Stillwater, Oklahoma City, they may be near 100 today for actual uh, air temperatures, mid 90s on our side of the state. Tonight, tomorrow morning, some passing clouds may actually be a few sprinkles or light showers northwest of green country up towards I-35. It looks like that's where that's going to stay. We'll be in the upper 70s. Tulsa proper may be near 80 again in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, looking pretty similar to today. Highs in the mid 90s and those heat index values once again will be pretty rough. Now, as I mentioned, with the humidity backing off just ever so slightly after today, that will bring those maximum heat index values down a little bit. But we're still talking heat advisory criteria. So 110 or above this afternoon, still I think near or above 105 on Monday and then into the work week, the high temperatures drop back just a couple degrees that pushes highs, low 90s, heat index though still add or maybe even a little bit above 100 for most of the week ahead. So buckle up, settle in. This heat wave looks like it's going to be with us for at least the next several days. Extended outlook as we head past this week, still not showing any just really big signs of relief just yet. So we've got a lot of this to come. Here's the seven day forecast. Warm, muggy mornings, hot and humid afternoons, but we will have more wind. So if you are uh, doing outdoor activities, getting yard work done, when you're in the shade, you'll at least have a breeze. Uh, 97 today, 96 Monday, 94 Tuesday, 93 Wednesday, not a whole lot of change there. Late week, uh, this upcoming week into the weekend, a couple very small windows for maybe a couple showers Thursday night and Friday morning and also potentially Saturday. But again, at the moment, not seeing any big signs of change anytime soon.